Hi. This book is Meet Denitra Brown by Nikki Grimes. This is one of my favorite books. Okay. In this book, it says, uh, it's called You Ought to Meet Denitra Brown, the most splendiferous girl in town. Okay. So Zira Jackson introduces us to the, her best friend, Denitra Brown. She's a truly remarkable girl who only wears purple because she might be a princess. Faces, uh, faces down, bullies. Uh, she rides her bike as if, if it were wings and is de definitely going to win the Nobel Prize one day. In this uh, spirited collection of 13 poems, Nikki Grimes has created two unforgettable little girls and a warm, real portrait of true friendship. And Floyd Cooper has uh, has brought them to life with his radiant illustrations. Okay, Nitra Brown, the most splendiferous girl in town. For my sister Carol, an original character, if ever there was one. And for Deborah Jackson Wyatt, who taught me a thing or two about friendship. You ought to meet Denitra Brown. You ought to meet Denitra Brown, the most splendiferous girl in town. I ought to know, because she's my friend. She's not afraid to take a dare. If something's hard, she doesn't care. She'll try her best no matter what. She doesn't mind that uh, what people say. She always does things her own way. Her spirit's old, my mom once said. I only know I like her best because she sticks out from all the rest. She is only she, Denitra Brown. This poem is called Jump Rope Rhyme. Zuri Jackson, that's my name. Count to three, it's still the same. Turn the rope and watch me spin. Quick, Denitra, jump on in. Coke Bottle Brown. Dumb old Freddie Watson called my friend Coke Bottle Brown. So what if her bifocals are big and thick and round? Pay him no never mind, Zuri, is what Denitra said. Then hands on hips, she turned away and lifted up her head. Me, Denitra Brown, I've got no time for Freddie's mess. Let him call me silly names because I could, care, could not care less. Can't waste time on some boy who thinks it's funny being mean. Got books to read and hills to climb that Freddy's never seen. Then dumb old Freddy Watson called me toothpick legs and spit. I stared him down and balled my fist and said, okay, that's it. But, the, but suddenly I thought about the words Denitra said. I rolled my eyes and grabbed my books and turned away instead. Purple. Once, uh, once you've met my friend Denitra, you can't, you can spot her miles away. She's the only girl around here who wears purple every day. Whether summer's almost over or spring rains are pouring down, if you see a girl in purple, it must be Denitra Brown. Purple socks and jeans and sneakers, purple ribbons for her hair, purple shirts and slacks and sweaters, even purple underwear. Purple dresses, shorts and sandals, purple coat and purple gloves. There's just no mistake about it. Purple's what Denitra loves. Purple is okay, I guess. I have worn it once or twice, but there's nothing wrong with yellow, red, and blue are, all, are also nice. So one day I asked Demetra, 
If, if once in a while for fun, she would wear another color just to surprise everyone. But her mom has told her stories about queens in Timbuktu. And it seems they all wore purple, never red or green or blue. Now she meant she might just be a princess. After all, who's to say? So just in case, she'll dress in purple each and every day. Ladies of the house. Denitra's mom had a cold the other day. Denitra couldn't even come outside to play. She had to cook and clean, so Denitra said, gotta take care of things while my mom is in bed. So I kept Denitra company, cause that's what friends are for. We washed up the dishes and we swept the kitchen floor. We took a soup to her mom. I was quiet as a mouse. It was serious work. We were the ladies of the house. Culture. Mom says I need culture, whatever that means. Then she irons some dumb dress, makes me take off my jeans, drags me to the theater for some stupid show. It turns out to be fun, but I didn't let her know. Next day, I tell Denitra what the play was about. Then we go to her bedroom and act it all out. We play all the parts and pretend that we're stars like the ones that step out of those long, long shiny cars. Then Denitra starts dancing while I sing the main song. And she promises that next time she'll come along. We decide we like culture, whatever that means. But we both think that culture goes better with jeans. Mom and me only. Some kids at school have a mom and a dad. I've got mom and me only. On a parent's night, uh, it makes me mad that it's mom and me only. You've got, you've got it good, Denitra says when I am sad. Your mom loves you twice as much. Uh, is that so bad? Denitra knows just what to say to make me glad. With her around, I'm never, uh, uh, never lonely. Sweet Blackberry. Denitra says my skin's like double chocolate fudge because I'm so dark. The kids at school say it, say it another way. You so black girl, they say. At night, people might think you ain't nothing but a piece of sky. I never cry, but inside there's a hurting place. I make sure no one sees it on my face. Then mama tells me, next time, honey, you just say the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Now that's just what I do. I sure wish I had told them that before. Those kids don't bother me or uh, bother teasing me no more. The secret. The secret. Denitra's scared of pigeons. I promise not to tell. Then I opened my big mouth and out the secret fell. I tried to shove it right back in, though it was much too late. I, I told her I was sorry, but Denitra didn't wait. What kind of friend are you? She yelled before she stomped away. She wouldn't hardly say a word to me the whole next day. She finally forgave me, but not until I swore to never ever give away a secret anymore. Summertime sharing. Denitra sits hunched on the stoop and pouts. I ask her what there is to pout about. Nothing much, she says to me, but then I see her eyes following the ice cream man. I shove my hand into my pocket and find the change there where, it, where I left it. Be right back, I yelled, running down the street. 
Me and my fast feet were there and back in just two shakes. Denitra breaks the popsicle in two and gives one half, gives me half. The purple icicles uh, trickles down her chin. I start to laugh. Her teeth flash in one humongous grin, telling me she's glad that I'm her friend without even saying a word. Bike crazy. Watch me and uh, watch me and Denitra biking down the street. Wee! Round the corner, there goes there go Denitra's feet. Right off the pedals, arms thrown up to the sky. Me, I laugh and yell out, "Fly, Denitra, fly!" Stories to tell. Denitra says she's going to win the Nobel Prize, and I can't tell. Uh, tell, and I can tell by looking in her eyes how much she means it. I see her writing rhymes and stories in a book. She slips a page to me and lets me look like it's our secret. She writes about her friends and or neighbors, our neighbors and me, the places that we'll go and what what we will be. When we all grow up, some teachers say Denitra's rhymes are wrong because some of her lines are extra long. I think they're perfect. If Denitra says she's going to win the Nobel Prize, I double dare anyone to roll their eyes. I know she will. Uh, she'll do it. New beginnings. A new girl moved in down the street. I say hello and told her that she smiled like someone I know. I told her that she ought to meet Denitra Brown, the greatest, most splendiferous girl in town. Okay, that's the end. Take the test. <laughs>